Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga, and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I just played finishing. Now this was against a 2000 rated player. Uh, I was playing as white. I started off with d4, often the sponsor with d5. And I played a bishop to f4, trying to play the London system setup. Uh, open plays e6. Uh, here I play c3 first. Uh, open plays a bishop to d6. And generally in the London, the rule is to bring back a bishop always. So that if the opponent does take the bishop, you open up the edge file and then you attack from there on. Here open plays knight f6. I play knight f3, dead up in the knight. Open goes with knight to d7. And in this moment, I took some time. I thought, uh, should I be taking this bishop? Uh, can look as a good move in the first place because what are you, you are doing is spoiling the open pawn structure. But what that, that gives advantage to black is that after the exchange happens, opponent can definitely go for a pawn break in the middle very soon. Thanks to the double pawns, the double pawn acting as a bonus here, trying to um, be the extra defender of the e5. Suddenly the open castles, the rook is in center, queen is already lining up, and white hasn't allowed. So that can be nasty. So if I take here, uh, opponent does take, and then we can probably proceed. Open can castle, we can develop, uh, open can get the rook here, and prepare to play pawn forward, which breaks open the center pretty quickly from there. So that was one of the lines which I didn't want to go to. So that's why I played e3, didn't take the bishop. Open takes the bishop. I take back with h1, opening up the h file. Open goes with knight to e4. I go with a bishop to d3, attacking the knight. Open now connects both the knight after playing knight to f6. And here I go with queen to c2. Open plays h6. And now I play the other knight to d2. Open takes here. I take back with the queen. Uh, and now open plays b6, which allows me to give a check. Uh, but then bishop comes in there. And I thought I'll take it. I could have got it back as well, but I took it there. Open takes back with the queen. And now come, uh, comes knight to e5. Uh, the controlling square in the London, uh, where you place a knight. Uh, and it attacks the queen as well here. It, it attacks the c6 square as well. And the knight would be tough to be displaced from here. Here my opponent plays queen to d6. And I go with queen c2. The idea is to give a check next, uh, which would be tough to be defended. Uh, and you, the opponent would have to spoil the casting eventually. Knight comes to e4. Uh, here comes check with the queen. And now casting has is spoiled. Opponent goes with king f8. Uh, here I just got my queen backwards. I had a thought here as well that maybe I can give another check with the knight. But then what, what it helps is opponent pushes the king further. And then there's no further use of the check. I did give a check, open move the king, but then what? There's nothing much. The earlier check with the uh, with the queen gave me advantage of operant losing the casting rights. So the next check didn't make sense from there. So it's important to uh, think of the follow-ups from there on. And what advantage does it give to the opponent or uh, or to us? So there was no point giving another check. So that's why I didn't place knight onto here because it only helps the open king to escape and from there on open can put it on h7 maybe get the rook here so it's a kind of a manual castling uh, in multiple moves but that puts the king in the safer position so i thought okay let that be got my queen back onto c2 trying to maybe then go to um, e2 and then maybe h5 uh, threatening checkmate uh, uh, making some op forcing open to make some mistake and then take advantage of that and that resulted in some pressure building, which uh, an opponent now tries to kick my knight by placing f6. Maybe misses that uh, focus coming. Or maybe my opponent had made a bet with it that the opponent is okay, but has to... It's, it's, he's okay to uh, go the exchange down, but wants my knight to be removed from there. Open plays king up, and now I take the rook, open takes back. And here white is advantageous enough, 2.7 is good enough here to be converting it. I played a3 first, making sure that now I can probably go for a move like uh, c4 as well. If I don't play a3 and just play c4, the problem is open can give a check with the queen, which can again uh, result into some complications. Even I have to lose the castling rights, suddenly then knight uh, can also hop in onto d2. 
Uh, so I didn't want that to happen. Uh, so I just first played a3, often plays uh, c5. Here I thought maybe I should take play pawn forward uh, c4, but then I eventually went with pawn taking up the other uh, pawn, which got, gets taken by the knight. And here I play pawn forward c4, trying to break open here. Open gets the rook onto c8. Again, I can take the pawn, but I didn't here and castled, which was bad. I should have taken. Taking was the best. Okay, I didn't uh, analyze this game earlier. So if I take, open can take with the queen or the pawn. And if takes with the queen, then I have to immediately castle. And then knight can be maneuvered anywhere. And that gives a disc. Oh, the rook is not defended. So that is the problem there. Understood. So should have been the way. But instead, I uh, castled, open plays knight to e4. And I play b3, trying to solidify the pawn. Open pushes for b5, and here I play a rook to d1. Open does take. Uh, oh, I can again take the knight. I took on the pawn first. Open takes with the rook. Uh, again, I can exchange stuff here. Uh, looks decent enough because after I take, open can take back. And I can take the queen. Open takes back. It's knight against the rook and maybe extra pawn for the opponent. But that can be covered up. So even that would have been a winning end game from there. Uh, instead, in the game, I went open. I went with uh, queen to e2 instead. Open plays uh, queen c5. Here I go with the queen giving a check from h5. Open pushes backwards, and now comes a rook to b1, trying to give a check uh, from the uh, last rank, or maybe even putting my rook onto b7, threatening checkmate on f7. Open goes back, and here this was a bad move. Uh, and as soon as I played this, I realized because this loses the game completely. After a check, I have to take here, or I have to get my queen in between. Either is bad because if I take now, open can take back with the queen, and that's a losing position because after I move, I lose the rook. So this looks looks devastating for white. I saw that just after playing the rook up, but thankfully open didn't see that that coming plays uh, rook to c2 and I took on the rook uh, because I had seen the bad move so I took it here rather than trying to double up on the b file open takes and now I get my rook back onto f2 trying to defend the pawn on uh, sorry rook to f1 defending f2 uh, and here open plays queen to b2 uh, trying to attack my pawn uh, I thought okay let me attack the pawn on e6 with my queen uh, king comes up I try to repeat there uh, took some time that I should be uh, repeating the moves or I should go for the win. Eventually, I decided to go for a draw because uh, there was some time pressure as well. I didn't want to go to, into that calculation. Opet had an extra center pawn. Yes, I had the rook, but can get tricky. Uh, and though it's slight advantage to white, and if it's not time control game, definitely this is winning position because. You can simply get back the queen, and what happens is if the opponent is greedy, taking the pawn, uh, you can always punish later on with first queen attacking the pawn. And now, if king saves, and then you have uh, a, you can simply take on the pawn. If the king uh, saves it by placing on it on f7, then again another check. And after opponent moves the king backwards, this time you have the rook on the in the open file going downwards and that would be threatening some checkmating patterns maybe from here as well so a lot of attack can be built up there is always a way to win convert this into a winning position but again uh, time control is also important in blitz especially so i thought okay let me just go for a draw so found the repetition made it a draw and i was okay with that eventually i hope you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.